He's an artist, but nothing about his work is cookie cutter. Well, I don't like canvas just because that's too normal for me. And a can of paint wouldn't do this piece so justice. The image is actually created with fire. Michael Aaron Williams has never seen a face he didn't treasure. I love people's faces. Faces tell a story. And the stories he likes to share. I'm drawn to like some of the outsiders, like the homeless, the, the people that are on the street that have been kind of like cast aside by society. Michael Aaron's inspiration for depicting people on the street comes from the Bible. He writes the same verse on the back of every one of his art pieces. Not to call those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners, because I think Jesus, um, when I know Jesus in the Bible, he, he went for the, uh, you know, he went and like hung out with the, the people in the street, the people who others deem crazy or sinners. And since Jesus went to the people, that's Michael Aaron's mission too. He calls it street art, sort of like graffiti, but less destructive. It's like an alternative to express yourself through street art without messing up someone's business. Because that, that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to like you know, mess up some business's wall, you know? Instead, he creates his art on cardboard and puts them up around town using mounting tape. A hundred of his pieces have hit the streets of Knoxville, Brooklyn, Birmingham, and Alaska. I love it when people go and they, they, they pick those, these pieces off the street and they will put them up in their home. Um, and that, it's, it's symbolic of what like God did for me. He took me from a place of being destroyed and exposed to things that like ripped me down and just like throw me away and put me up as like a prize um, in his home. And some of Michael Aaron's pieces are worth thousands of dollars, like this piece made of, look closely, dice. I, of course, like the shock factor where people are like, oh, wow, that's a face. And they're like, they get closer and they're like, that's dice. And he also likes the instant gratification that putting his pieces in an art gallery can't provide. Like this one he made for his fiancée, Molly, when he asked her to marry him. But I created them out of our love letters to each other over the past two years. And so, because I've kept all the love letters she sent me, and then I've sent her some emails while she was over doing mission work. Molly is always the one behind the camera documenting his street art, and this time she got quite the surprise. She thinks we're just doing another street art thing, and I took her on the top of this mountain, she's like, no one's going to see it up here. So you know, it's more romantic. Michael Aaron and Molly hope to take their street art to the world, combining their love for art and missions. I really feel like God's hand is in this, and so I feel he's told me that I can multitask. I can do that, and he's just going to merge them together.